it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and welcome back to my channel guys today i am coming at you with some first impressions for some stuff that i got from Anna and alta so let's go through and see what all i got and then we're going to do first impressions on what i think when it's on my face like videos and you like to see my face more often hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you know every time that I upload and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and yeah let's go okay, so first up from Ulta all I did was pick up the pre-cleanse from Dermalogica which not a first impressions I always repurchase that but now on to the stuff that is new for me um, I picked up the elf putty bronzer and sun kissed here and I also picked up the putty blush and Bali which I thought was pretty for fall this color is beautiful um, and I wanted to give it a go because um, I've seen people talk about it excited to see what that is about I don't really want to put my finger in here just yet Bali the blush which again I think is a pretty dusty color dusty I don't know it looks like a sunset kind of to me um so yeah also did buy the Juvia's Place gloss I'm not sure if this is going to be a first impression because I love her glosses but I just got it in the clear gloss because of all the glosses that I have None of them are clear, so I just picked up a clear gloss. Then I went over to KVD Beauty and I seen that they had the liquid blushes as well as the liquid gel contour. Oh, they, these are liquid gel blushes. And I got the blush in the color Glowlita number 10. Um, they were pretty sold out, but most of them look like they were really light. And I was like, I don't really want a light blush. So this is the one that I picked up instead. And this is what the tube looks like. And then this I was excited about. I don't know why. I seen it that it was coming out. I looked at Trend Mood and seen that it was coming out. And then I was kind of like almost stalking it on Alta's website. But then completely forgot about it and just was like, oh well, I guess. But I end up getting it which is the liquid gel contour and I got this in the color tan deep neutral because the last one looked purplish and yeah we're going to see and hope that that works but the darker one looked like it was kind of purple and that was weird to me so I didn't pick it up and then I also picked up her epic kiss nourishing vegan butter lipstick and i got three of them and i have the color madam president um zine zine queen and lolita because lolita is like you know kvd and this is like this is like a color for kvd these i think that the packaging is like so cute and it has like little texture on it oh those are so cute so that was the couple of things that i picked up from alta not a lot but still enough and, and so the little bit of stuff that i picked up from sephora you see they gave me the little itty bitty baby bag um, I picked up a um, small size of the one size ultimate setting powder um, it was up there and I was like I've been thinking about it so why not like I actually need another setting powder well whatever we're just going to do it and I know that you've seen it I think the packaging is kind of cute I don't really care for pink but it's cute um uh, and I got mine in the color dark deep and that is to set the rest of my face I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills magic touch concealer and I got this in the color 17 because I wanted to go you know under my eyes I don't want it to be like blemish covering so that's that one and 
I also picked up a mini um, airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury because I have heard so many things about this so I wanted to give it a try and lastly I picked up the sunshine skin tint from milk makeup and I got this in the color deep we're gonna hope and pray that it works and so this is what this looks like and it's got like a little clicky thing and a ball here so we're going to see how that works let's go ahead and see how all of this let's go ahead and see what all of this is going to be like on my face and hopefully I like it okay so we have up first the milk makeup skin sunshine skin tint broad spectrum SPF 30 and this it retails for $42 and it has a total of 14 shades. Whatever. Let's move on. Um, and the deepest shade is Mocha. Um, I think I got like the third deepest shade, which really. Um, but anyways, the claims are... Um, it says what it is, an improved clean silicone free skin tint that provides light coverage with a weightless feel while moisturizing with natural oils for a dewy finish and protecting protecting with coral reef safe broad spectrum SPF 30. I know that there's like controversy with like coral reef safe SPF. Do with that as you will. It is what it is. Um... So it says that it does have grapeseed, avocado, mandarin, jojoba, and olive oils, um, moisture for a dewy visible glow, olive derived squalene, seals and moisture and supplies antioxidants for fresh looking skin. And again, it says coral reef safe, protects skin against UVA, UVB rays, contains non nano zinc and won't cause a flashback. Please note, there's a disclaimer in here. This product is not recommended for those with a sensitivity to citrus oils. Disclaimer, because sun, because sunshine skin tint SPF 30 is makeup, we suggest applying it during your AM routine and then touching up your traditional SPF sunscreen during the day if you are exposed to the sun for an extended period of time. Um... So, and it says this product now comes in a paper box instead of a plastic tube. The box is made of 100% post-consumer paperboard uh, with 100% post-consumer paper pack uh, labels. So, it's a, available in a variety of adaptable shades that work across multiple skin tones. The weightless light coverage formula leaves skin with a dewy, glowing finish and the airtight packaging means your formula won't oxidize or change colors over time so let's go ahead and the coverage is light and the finish is natural um and the packaging let's see if it says it is 0.54 fluid ounces so less than an ounce starting to come up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh. I don't want this to get on my shirt. So we're going to go ahead and it says to roll it on to the face. So we're just going to roll it on this side of the face. take my brush um, so yes this is light coverage um, however this is gray on my face what color did I pick up again and this is supposed to be deep with warm undertones. So, again, light coverage. So, you're going to see everything. I feel like it covers a little bit more than light coverage. But... I don't know 
know if I necessarily like this packaging. I feel like I'm putting on a lot. I know you guys can see like how gray this is, but we're gonna keep it pushing. This brush blends out stuff like a dream. However, this is sticking. Like, <laughs> maybe I should also use this brush on the right side. Um, ignore what I was about to say. My nutter brain is using this on the wrong side and about to complain. So it is best if you kind of like hold it up upside down. And I don't know if you can see how that like comes out. My face is so gray. It's good. It's okay, right? We'll just use other stuff to darken it up. I guess. And since I'm not going to wear this out. We're just going to go ahead and try on as many of these products as I can. This so turned my face. My face is so gray. Okay, so we're just going to move on from this. First impression, no. Um, so let's move on. I am going to go on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, what is this, Magic Touch Concealer. And I have it in the color 17. This retails for 20 I spent that much for this? This retails for $29, I guess. I pay for the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I shouldn't complain. But, again, $29. And it has 25 shades. And yeah, mine isn't even because I got it lighter, it's not even close to the darker shade. The darker shade says very deep skin with warm undertones. But for concealer, like I hear people saying, like the shade range sucks, and I can see that it's a bunch of like concealers with like barely any deeper concealers. So I understand that. And as concealer, like we're used to being like, okay, well, we can go with the lighter one because we're just going to use it under our eyes. But some people use it all over their face. And then if you don't, so yeah, I can see why they have an issue. So this says a medium to full coverage, creamy and lightweight formula that corrects, brightens, blurs, and conceals while blending to a natural second skin finish. Uh, medium coverage. A natural finish uh, free of parabens it is also vegan gluten free and cruelty free if you care um, so it says what else you need to know this medium to full coverage creamy and lightweight formula corrects brightens blurs and conceals while blending to a natural second skin finish it helps to hydrate the delicate under eye area and provide smooth creaseless and comfortable wear without oxidizing or settling into fine lines Okay, because I got fine lines all up under there. We're going to see. Um, the, the, um, Lula. the amino acid coated pigments ensure immediate ad adhesion and easily blendable and easy blendability while light reflecting ingredients neutralize imperfections for a soft focus effect. We're going to see. And this is 0 0.4 ounces. It seems pretty big, but okay. And this is the applicator. Oh, it's got a slight curve in it, if you can see that. So yeah, a lot came out the first time. So we're just going to yeah, and go right in here. I don't put on a lot of concealer.
They're just gonna go for it. <laughs> Even though I'm already gray. We're gonna blend out everywhere else, but under the eye first. It is kind of thick going on at first, but it blends out nicely. It blends out pretty good. I feel like it did kind of like cover up a little bit more stuff under there, but we're really going to see what the under eye with this is talking about. go a long way and very spreadable oh it did catch on to like I guess a patch under my eyes see if I can blend that out with my finger it only happened on this eye but you can probably see it a little bit. I hope you can. Like here and here. Let me zoom you guys in. Guys are all in my business. <laughs> Anyways. Um, can you see the two patches here? Yeah. So that's where it clung to. I think we're going to go. Hmm. I don't feel like it covered anything like it did over here. We're going to, because it says you can build it up. So let's go ahead and build it up. Oh no, it's doing it over here too. Can you guys see that? Like right in here. Mm -hmm. And I know some people will be like, well, it's because you're using a brush, but I typically use a brush um, because that's what I like. Only recently did I start using the, well, a makeup sponge again. Blend that out. So on camera, it doesn't look all that bad but you can see definitely where it like clung to patches so can you see where it like really clung to patches right in there and also like right in here it seems to like in person I feel like ooh, and I have some like balling that just happened and it definitely did settle into the line so you see that look at that So we're just going to leave. We're off to like not the best start right now. Okay. And I didn't put any foundation or any of the skin tint under my eyes because I don't. And I, just, I never do. And we see what just happened there. This. Hmm, we're not off to a pleasant start at all. Let's keep going. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and try the bronzers. Well, this one is a contour. So one side, I'm going to contour, and the other side, I'm going to use the bronze. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the KVD um, Vegan Beauty. I don't know what their name is. KVD. Um, and this is the Mod Con Liquid Gel Contour. And I got mine in the color tan deep neutral and that is the third oh that is the second to last shade so it's this shade and then one shade after that um yeah it's got one two three four five six seven eight about eight shades 
uh, yeah, it has eight shades and it retails for $26 and you get 0.57 fluid ounces. It says, uh, KVD Beauty ModCon Liquid Gel Contour is a modern lightweight transfer resistant liquid gel contour to easily create lifelike dimension. Benefits. This versatile long wear contour gives you full control to crank up the contrast. High contrast pigments and an innovative clear base make this lightweight contour work like an actual shadow. Easily blend it out and build it up. It won't move your foundation or get streaky, oily, or patchy. Heard it. Uh, the hydrating formula helps keep skin looking fresh and smooth without magnifying texture. Designed for a wide range of skin tones and undertones. This, I guess a key ingredient is daisy flower extracts. Extracts. So yeah. Um, let's go ahead and see what this do. So again, this side, I'm going to use it on. A little scared. Let's start. Oh, oh, let's start. Doesn't that look purple? It can't just be me. That looks purple. Nice one for me to start with. Okay, alright. We're still going. We're still going. It's fine. It's okay, Shawnee. Alright, that's not so bad. I was, I was a little worried for nothing. That's not. That's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Still a little scared. You see, I'm just going a little bit at a time. So this is like very, very, very lightweight. that way. Um, very blendable actually. Um, I'm not mad at the blendage that's happening. Ooh, I'm not mad at that blend. You know, you're right. It's not streaking. It's not patchy either. All right. Now. It does kind of. All right. All right. Maybe the first success. I'm not mad at this. Just saying. All right. Now let's try the putty bronzer. <clears throat> this is the color Sunkissed here i'm hoping that it's dark enough it looked like it was dark enough and i think it was the darkest shade that was up there but i think cabana cutie is the darkest and then you have beach please and then i think then i think it's sunkissed i'm not 100 percent sure how this goes um but six dollars for 0.35 flu i mean three five ounces um Putty bronzer is a unique putty to powder bronzer that delivers highly pigmented buildable cover color for a natural sun kiss glow. Unique putty to powder formula with a semi matte finish uh, gives sun gives skin a natural sun kiss glow. Highly pigmented buildable color smooths and evens out. Oh. I guess I'm supposed to say evens and evens out your complexion. Lightweight, non-greasy wear. Enriched with moisturizing argan oil and vitamin E. Great for all skin types. All right. Just going to go ahead and use the same blush, a brush, and dip in here. I should use a different brush, but whatever. I don't feel like washing brushes. So this might be on me 
and the fact that I probably didn't pick the deepest color. Why does not 100% bad? Yeah, you can see it. You can see it. It's fine. Alright. What the heck is this right here? Whatever. Alright, so it might be on me and the fact that I did not get the darkest color. Um, and the more I like swirl this in here, it looks like it's getting like a greasy buildup. And I have not put my fingers in here at all, but let's go ahead and try. Yeah, that color is the color of my skin too. So, you're not going to get much out of this and that is a my bad um, on the color selection. I thought that this was the deepest color that they had, and it's not, so we just gotta live with it. Even though it doesn't look bad on my forehead. And it's butt color back to my face, so not mad at that. Not even sure that you're even supposed to put bronzer down here, but I am. Because I need color. <laughs> so that was that. Um, so when I stuck my finger in it, it does feel quite oily on, like my finger. Yeah, that is quite oily. Um, and when, like I'm blending it out with my finger, honestly that blended out to nothing. Even like on my hand, and my hand is a little bit lighter than my face I feel. It feels like nothing. It feels silky a bit, but you really do have to build this up to get it to start looking like something, which could be a good thing for some people. I'm fine with that. If that's all it took was just to build it up, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. So now it is the Elf Putty Blush. Again, $16, you get five shade, uh, five options here. And I have the color Bali. And uh, this, the Elf Cosmetics Putty Blush is a velvety lightweight putty blush that melts into your skin. Highly pigmented, creamy formula melts into the skin for a natural glow. Lightweight, buildable formula transforms from cream to a semi-matte powder finish. Perfect for on the go. Proud to be 100% vegan and cruelty free worldwide because kindness is chic. Alright, cool, cute. That was cute. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this is hidden for. I think I'm going to just take my finger and that's the color there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Elf is on this side. We're going to go on this side. Oh, that is a pretty blush. That's really pretty. And I'm building it up. This is my second time going in there. It, again, it has like that silky feel to it. So it really, oh, it's so silky smooth. But I feel like the more I'm blending it out, the less color I'm getting. So let's go ahead. So this would be the third layer. And this one, I'm just literally just tapping not rubbing at all so there's that just one blend around there we go so there's that blush mm, it's not bad i think i bought it too far down in here it's cool it's cool 
Just do that. That's cool. Oh, I can deal with that. So now I'm trying the KVD uh, liquid gel blush. Um, liquid gel blush is a lightweight long wear liquid gel blush for a modern dewy jelly skin look. Uh, jelly skin is dewy hydrated glowing skin with a punch of color. You're in full control. Build it up without moving foundation or getting streaky, tacky, or patchy. Lightweight shimmer free blush. Yay. Um, melts on easily and feels like a second skin. Innovative formula helps keep skin looking hydrated, bright, and smooth. Won't highlight texture. In four pigmented shades, a little goes a long way. Um, and it does retail for $26. This is how you know I was just like, throw it in the bag. Because I did not look at how much this was um and again i got mine in the color glowlita and this is the packaging you do get 0 0.40 ounces so we're going to go ahead and squeeze this out i'm a little scared oh i think i did too much Oh, that is a pretty color. Yeah. I think I did too much. A little bit of that one. I am going to look like a clown. This is pigmented. All right. I see you. Go back in with my foundation brush and paint over that just a bit. I do feel like you can see a little patch there. Um, it's supposed to be non tacky. And it doesn't say how long this is supposed to dry down before it doesn't transfer anywhere. But let's see. It does still transfer. But it really does still transfer. Um, I forgot. Let me go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. Give, give, give it a little some some. So. Overall, I'm not really feeling my first, but whatever. Oh, we're going to go ahead and give it a try and set all around my face with the one size, what the freak is this called? One size makeup brand by Patrick Star. And this mini one, the mini one retails for $16 if you just wanted to give it a try. Um, and it comes in dark, deep, and translucent. Um, and it is a super fine powder with a soft matte finish and blurring effect that lasts up to 14 hours and is perfect for everyday setting and buildable baking. That's one thing you'll never see from me. I will never, ever, ever bake face it's just not something i do if you do have fun i just i don't and i won't so that is what that color looks like here and this is the first thing that i'm trying from his makeup line or this is the first thing i'm trying from patrick star's makeup line um 
I don't use a lot of powder, period. And this definitely is finely milled. Oh, and it feels silky. I just want to go through and hopefully this gives me like a little bit of color. I wonder if I can use this under my eye. Tone down some of that yellow. That's how much I got on my brush. Not a lot. I never do a lot. Um, and that Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, don't uh don't fall settle into fine lines and don't crease uh is a crease in tail because um it creased <laughs> you can definitely see it on my eyelids that it creased granted most people don't people don't like to say that they put concealer on their eyelids but we all do Sometimes it's just that easy. Alright, so it did help to tone down all of that yellow that was up there. Okay. I'm not dry. Well, a little bit. But I don't know if it's that or just this concealer. I just, I, just, I really don't know. Alright, so overall, guys. I'm really not feeling my face, but we're going to go ahead and do the Charlotte Tilbury. I guess that's how you say it. Everybody wants to say that you're saying it wrong, but we don't have the accent that goes along with this. So I'm not going to say that we're saying it wrong. I'm going to say that our accent makes it sound different. Um, so this is the smaller size and it retails for $20. Sheesh. Whatever. Keep it, keep, keep going. Um, and you get 1.1 ounce in here. And it is a hydrating alcohol and oil-free spray that weightlessly sets makeup for up to 16 hours without melting, fading, or settling into fine lines. Sure. Sure. That could be the case. We're not going to test this out for 16 hours, though. Ooh. Ooh, that missed. I'm still mad at this. These patches are here. And then I have some like in my inner corner. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. I don't even know what to. It's like. I feel like it smells kind of fruity ish. It's not really floral, it's more fruity. I like the smell of that. We'll see. It is what it is. So, on to the last. So, on to the KVD Beauty Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick. It, they retail for $22. Um, you get point zero. You get point zero three ounces, and they have 18. And they have 18 shades. Again, I got three of the 18 shades, and I have Lolita, uh, Madam President, and Zine Queen. And, let's see. A rule-breaking lipstick with high pigment color and hydrating care, and 15 bold yet wearable shades, complete with unexpected hues. That's all it says. Cool. So hydrating lipstick doesn't say it's going to last forever it just doesn't so I'm going to first try the color Lolita oh this feels so small it's so tiny oh, I should probably show you guys and it has a vanilla scent to it and this is all the product that you get in there. Not bad. That is a pretty color. Got distracted. So, um, 
I would say that this does give you precision because of how small it is. So there is Lolita. Again, the white packaging right here is so old, you. And that is Lolita. It feels, it feels smooth. I do like it. It's not like overly shiny when like people be like, you know, we have whatever, whatever. It's not overly shiny. I could see this being worn every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we're going to Zine Queen. Again, same packaging. But this is a, it just looks like a nude brown color. And is, oh, this is chocolate chocolate. will get dirty quickly I don't know if you can see that but like as you're putting it on it's like all around the rim and so there is a Zine Queen next up we have Madame President which again looks like a oh but this looks like a reddish brown Ooh. Oh yeah, like how small it is, like how precise you can get. Alright. <clears throat> and that is Madame President, which I thought it was going to be like a reddish brown, like nude color. But this is a pretty red color that I will definitely be wearing more often. So... Okay, guys, so finished look here. Finally found some color to add back to my face with all of, like, the contouring products and stuff. So, yeah. First impressions is no. It, this is just a straight up no. Um, it's gray, even though it says it's supposed to have warm undertones. It's gray. Um, it's lightweight. You can find more skin tints cheaper that does better so pass on this one only thing that i have found from milk makeup that i do honest and truly like and will per repurchase over and over again i just haven't yet and that is the hydro grip primer other than that i don't like it i don't really care for the ball that's in here either um yeah i just i, I don't I don't like it cannot recommend absolutely not so the Anastasia Beverly Hills, con what's this? Magic Touch Concealer. Uh, for me, it is a no. Um, I pulled you guys closer so you could see, and it did cling on to like a couple of patches over here, which I didn't even know that I had dry patches because I moisturize things over there very well. So I don't know what it's clinging to. Um, and. It's also like clinging in here. It says that it was crease, crease resistant or creaseless. Like you wouldn't have to deal with creases. And honey, baby, it creased. In nobody's business. Okay. Um, and I just, I didn't like the way that it looked. And just, no. I am, this, this is why I don't cheat on my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Because that is the business. It holds me down all the time. Yeah. Um, the Patrick Star powder. Take that off. The Patrick Star powder. Um, I'm gonna use it again. I'm. I wasn't mad at what it brought. I didn't look dry, overly dry, or anything. So I would definitely give it another try. The Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'll have to try, like, try it out when I'm going somewhere, which might be 
soon but I might have to test that out when I'm actually going somewhere and it actually needs to be set and not moved at all like I don't want it to budge at all um because it's budging I think um, this one's already dirty uh, yeah, 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 it's still budging. Um, so up next, what do I have up next? So those are okays. Um, just have to test it out. So this and the setting spray is okay. The contour gel, what the heck is this again? The liquid gel contour that I did get. This, this might be like the thing that I really did like it so far. And this is by KVD. Um, I did really like it. It's on this side here. Um, I wouldn't say that it necessarily gave me like a shadow. I was scared because when I first like put it on, it was purple. But blending it out, it blend out, blended out fine. And I like the like shadow that it gave me up here. I think it looks very pretty. <clears throat> I don't know if I would go deeper because this I feel like is deep enough and again I already have like a shadow here um, naturally so just adding that just deepened it a bit more um, and you can't really even tell that I have it under here either so when they said that this is like an actual shadow I believe it I like it go check it out if you still buy from KVD Beauty um, and you can afford it there's that um the liquid blush uh pigmented definitely pigmented it's over here i feel like i put the foundation like i took the foundation brush and patted it over it because it was like it was clown status over here but um i think it it looks okay um i feel like you can see like kind of where i stuck my finger a little bit more than other places so there's that. I'm, I'm still not mad at it. I will play around with it to see uh, what I can do. So I would keep that and play around with it again. The e.l.f. Putty Blush. Love it. This, this, this color right here. It is like a powdery silk. It still feels that way. It still feels like so silky and powdery and just... I like it. Six dollars. Six dollars. Go get it. Like... I think it only comes in like three or four shades anyway so go get them i love it love it love it love it the putty bronzer has the same feel as the blush so i do like the feel of it but i would have to see if i can find a shade that is darker i mean even though it's over here and it did add a little shadow up there i feel like along here you can't see much again i already have the shadow here <clears throat> but you can't see much going on um but i i would try to find my color like a color darker whoops like i would try to go a little darker to see if you know it really 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 does what i wanted to do but so far and i love the feel oh my gosh there's nothing like that feel it's like so silky like i have the putty uh primers from them these don't feel like that at all um i even have the putty uh, eyeshadow primer these don't feel the same these dry down and feel like a silky powder that I really I really 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 do like now the KVD Beauty Epic Kiss lip, the KVD lipsticks in this packaging um, I think it's like Epic Kiss or something like that yeah Epic Kiss I like these I'm not mad at these um, and I did like all of the colors. Um, you guys might see these on my lips uh, a little bit more. Um, they weren't overly shiny. They were very moisturizing. Felt lightweight on the lips. And had beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, pigment. Um, it still stained my lips now. And yeah, I, I do recommend these. Even though I didn't know that I paid as much as I paid for them. How much are they again? Do I really want to? I don't, I don't really want to know. But I think they were like $22. Not bad. Um, because I'd have paid for the Buxom lip glosses. But yeah. So I like these. Go check them out. I probably would check out more colors as well. Um, and then the lip gloss is just a clear lip gloss. So. And that's what's on. So yeah. I like that. Overall. 
complexion stuff a miss for me um except for the powders it's not a hit or a miss it's a hmm, i'll give it another try um this contour hit loved it um the bronzer this one is a, eh, i picked the wrong color um but i did like the feel of it and the blush is a hit for and especially for six dollars mm -hmm, go get it this blush is it's okay like i'm not mad at it i like the contour over the blush so there's that as you will hits hit 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 love these and love this just add to my juvia's place collection that is happening over there so yeah that was my first impressions on all of these products if you liked what you've seen hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time y'all bye